Michelangelo here and welcome to another music review. This time I will review Every Little Thing's first single, Feel My Heart. And this song uh, is amazing. Uh, it's very dear to me and, and you know that I love Every Little Thing. So I'm so excited to make this review and uh, this power in terms of music. So um, let's start right now. Track 1 is Feel My Heart Original Mix and this start is epic, epic, epic. Mitsu's keyboard and Ikun's guitar are a perfect combination and uh, I like the, the melody, it's very catchy and very playful. This is a very good start for, for the song and uh, it makes me feel something good. And here we uh, hear uh, Mochi's voice just singing about difficult days, uh, darkness, uh, lies, uh, bad feelings. So it's hard to live like that, but um, there's something inside her that, that's telling her that everything will be fine, but uh, she needs to, uh, to be able to see the positive side, even though uh, there are a lot of uh, bad energy or negative energy and she'll, she'll find true kindness but only if she, uh, she feels the, the power inside herself and The chorus is so catchy, it's gold uh, and the keyboard, once again, that melody, uh, it's a great uh, combination, a great tool. And uh, I really like um, when artists think about this type of topics. Uh, uh, it's very meaningful, the lyrics are very meaningful. And um, this upbeat track makes it more like impactful. So, uh, what a masterpiece. What a masterpiece. Um, the, uh, it, uh, it, well, the guitar, Ikun's guitar solo, uh, it's amazing as well. It, it, I love it. It goes well with the, the aura of the song. And uh, well, the, um, the word for Feel My Heart, I think it would be Willpower. Track two is Feel My Heart, Dave Rogers, Viewer Mix. And what a cool start. Um, it's different from the original one. And it has the same keyboard melody, but with a different keyboard. It's like the Eurobeat keyboard. And um, the drums are Eurobeat drums as well. So um, I think it's a really good remix. And I really like Eurobeat uh, mixes. So, some J-pop fans may know that Eurobeat is like a subgenre uh, for electronic music and it's very used, well, it was used a lot uh, during the 90s and the early uh, 2000, 2000s and um, I really like the, the aura, it's more like, it reminds me of a uh, video game music and sometimes it's like, uh, the pace is uh, faster, but in this case, I think that it's like the same uh, pace. So they didn't like uh, alter the, the pace, the original pace. For example, for Hamasaka Yumi songs, sometimes uh, they uh, they make it more, they make it faster. But in this case, it's like the same uh, the same pace, right? And uh, um, I think as since Feel My Heart is like um, strongly keyboard based, I think uh, it was very very good for a Euromix, right? And um, I enjoy it. They uh, it was the Ikun's guitar was I mean the original track for uh, Ikun's guitar uh, parts um, were used. And uh, yeah, the, it, 
they sound well the, the parts the guitar parts sound pretty well with this mix and uh, yeah it, it's, it's really good and as a fun fact I was I was curious about Dave Rogers so I googled them and I found that uh, his real name is Giancarlo Paschini and he's Italian whoa <laughs> He's a composer, uh, musician, and producer, and he's worked for Apex Tracks. Um, and for example, he he worked with uh, Amuro Namie. I didn't know that, so it was a, a cool, fun fact. <laughs> and well, I, as I said, really cool uh, remix with this Eurobeat power that I really like. The guitar is there, and <laughs> I love Ika's guitar. Uh, for this remix, and yeah, enjoyable track. Track 3 is Feel My Heart Club Mix, and this intro is totally different from the previous remix. And uh, we don't have the, the keyboard, um, the keyboard melody, uh, not, not in this part, um, and I like that. For a change, it was good, and instead, they are like. Um, Adding these elements, the sounds, and I like it. It was a good intro for this club mix. There's even a piano, and I like that. Uh, <laughs> that piano gave this mix a, a really cool touch, a sweet touch. Although it's a very, it's a very danceable track. Uh, I like the piano. There's also the voice alteration, which uh, I like. Uh, it's not too much because sometimes um, DJs get crazy with the voice alteration, but this time it's 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 well balanced. Let's say so it's good. It's something that I have to highlight and the drums they're like uh, a bit heavier and I like that they make the sound more like danceable and well it's, it's very enjoyable once again and um, we have the uh, Ico's guitar this time, but it's okay. And this part is really cool. Easy come, easy go. That instrument is, is so cool. It's really nice. <laughs> and I can feel that this is, a, this is another playful track. I mean, the like previous two, two tracks, the original mix and the Euro mix, were playful in terms of the, the instruments. And this one is playful too. Not exactly, not uh, the, exact, the exact same way, but it's 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 playful, and once again it uh, invites me to to dance, to jam to it, and it's a remix from the '90s, and I love the '90s, you know that, <laughs> and um, this makes me think. Um, it's hard for me to enjoy. Uh, Remixes from this era, um, I don't know. I I find them very noisy, um, and that's why I can't enjoy them. Really, and sometimes there are like remixes, like like modern remixes that I hate because it's like all around the place, all the instruments all around the place. It's it's a mess, and it's not enjoyable. Well, my ears like reject that type of remixes. So, but this. This one is, well, it's a, for, to me, it's, it's a classic. I love it so much. It's, as I said, it's not like uh, saturated or too much. Everything is well balanced. I like how uh, they play with, uh, with the, the sounds. And we don't have the Ico's guitar this time, but anyway, it's, it's a really cool remix. And then we have this part that's really cool too, I like this, the vocal, the voice alteration, the sounds like uh, this combination of sounds, it's like a set of, uh, of sounds that okay, we, we have it, uh, we, we had them in the, for the intro and for this part too and for the final part as well, so I like that like pattern, so once again I enjoy this, this remix, great great great. Track 4 is Feel My Heart Instrumental.
and have the chance to enjoy once again Mitsu's keyboard and Hikun's guitar. And what a perfect combination. Uh, they, I like the way the keyboard and the guitar uh, harmonize. It's, well, it's a highlight. It's the highlight for Feel My Heart in, ter in terms of instruments. And uh, I love this composition, the arrangement, the uh, melody line, and uh, wow, what a masterpiece, what a masterpiece. Uh, something I, I wanted to say is that I really like Ikun's guitar because it's, I can feel Ikun's personality through his guitar. So it's really cool. It's not, um, his parts are not stiff, they are very dynamic, they are, uh, mm, they're not stiff. Yeah, I can feel that they that he really enjoys being part of uh, the, the instrumentation of Ikun, right? So, really cool. And also, we have uh, Mochi's backing vocals. And um, I was thinking about, about that because I think it was uh, until 2000 that we, we got uh, backing vocals for instrumentals for every little thing. Um, the first single without backing vocals was, was I know Kakera. That's a, that's a fun fact. <laughs> but back to Feel My Heart. Uh, well, I like the backing vocals too because they accompany you when you sing along. They accompany you, so it's kind of cool. <laughs> anyway, once again, that because guitar, it's it's really cool. <laughs> and um, what a masterpiece! I need to clap because. The instrumentation is perfect, it's, it's solid, it's well designed, and once again, amazing. I wanted to comment about the music video for Feel My Heart, although I know it's not part of the single itself. Um, the music video were, was released on VHS, uh, along with the following music videos for ELT back in 1999. <laughs> And uh, well, the music video for Feel My Heart is really cool. I will uh, share the link with you guys. And um, I really like uh, the, the elements. We see the sky with the clouds moving. Then we see, well, they're like, it's uh, outdoors. There's like, they are in a prairie, I want to say. It's like, although so it, it looks like an, like an arid piece of land. I don't know, the, the scenery, the place, is, it's really interesting. Then um, the guys are wearing these big uh, sunglasses, or I don't know, they're like dark glasses, and they look so cool. And they are, uh, on some scenes, they're like doing like this, and I like that. <laughs> they look really cool. And they, they have two changes of clothes. Uh, for example, I, I really like uh, Mochi's dress. Uh, she's, wearing, she's wearing a dress for. Like kind of like half uh, second half of the song, which is really cool. And well, Ikun and Mitsuru look really look really cool as well. Um, I, Mitsuru is playing a two-piece keyboard, and it looks it, it looks really cool too. <laughs> Something I wanted to mention is that the coloring. I think the words coloring. Well, uh, it's not very bright. It's I think it's 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 dull. In a way, it's not that colorful, and that I was thinking about it because we know that Feel My Heart has a very positive um, uh, message. So I was thinking about about why the it's not the quality. It's like the I don't know the coloring for the for the video. It's it's pretty dull, uh, and uh, I think they wanted to make like a contrast with the positive message and the place they are in. That because they are like they are like dealing with you know darkness and bad feelings and well it's like an airy piece of land so it's like a loneliness maybe but I think it could be it could be a, um, the reason uh, but well I, I don't really know but uh, it's something that I wanted to mention because uh, you can see it's not that colorful it's not. Uh, that very bright and um, the coloring for the for the video but well and then I like the part where um, Mitsu and Ikun they are like running I like that part and for some of the scenes 
they're running and I think those uh, actions that we see uh, they go along well with the idea of the message uh, for the song and I really like um, Mochi's movements she's not really dancing like it's not it's not like a choreography but she's moving like this and I, I like I like her um, those uh, can I say this like movements uh, so it, it was a nice video uh, so that's what I have to say about the, the, the music video for uh, this single so that was every little thing's first single feel my heart and as I said earlier in this video and on my collection my ELT collection video this was a great start a great start for this legend and uh, I really love every, every little thing they are so important to me and uh, I want to, to spread their, their music they are not that popular overseas and I want I want people to at least to try and to give them a chance because they are amazing they are amazing they are still active they are the sweetest people uh, I, I love them um, and well this song was a great uh, way of saying uh, well we're here and we want to tell you something and the message was oh uh, well the positive message was very well um, crafted in terms of m lyrics and in terms of uh, music and well thank you guys thank you Mitsuru thank you so much for having uh, created this uh, this project every little thing and well you know that Mitsuru left the band but I'm we are we the fans are always grateful for uh, this um, um, event for this um, project and uh, thank you very much uh, Mitsuru uh, and well this is what I have to say about this single guys uh, this is the art uh, it's really nice it's a three inch single and this shape as I said before, it's it's a really nice collectible uh, item, right? Although they are um, hard to find sometimes, I'm I'm glad that I was able to find this one and, and the other uh, singles that I own. And well, I like their outfits. It looks so, well from the '90s, <laughs> yeah. And um, this graphic is really nice. The like musical notes and the letters ELT there has it, it makes me feel uh, this um, like modern well in this, uh, um, back then right a modern uh, type of uh, proposal I like that so this is the bag has the same graphic but it was a different angle and um, this the inside with have here are the lyrics. I have this like uh, rectangular shape is good for the lyrics. <laughs> and the mini disc is there, you can see it. Then there's some information about the, this uh, mini disc and the, the single itself from a AVEX. So thank you guys. Thank you guys for this magic. Um, and thank you for watching for your time. I hope you like this review and I will see you next time. See you.